what's going on everybody it's your boy sinister well basically you know i did a video um talking about how to help get your refrigerated trailer colder well i clogged the i, I clogged it i clogged the drain holes and the drain holes um the drain holes uh kept the air in there but the unit was still hot it was 80 degrees out here and the unit was hot so I came next door to Thermo King. They told me to use uh, water hose on the black vents up here. The black vents up here to help bring the temperature down. Cause there's a vent right there, like in the back of your AC, that blows the heat, that that absorbs that heat. So what I what the guy did here at Thermo King, they gave me a water hose, and this is what I had to do. And the, the, the cool off that that core you that's in there that absorbs the heat. And what they did was we we put the unit in the force first. So it can close the damper doors that God told me. And right now, it's at negative three. I've been sitting here since two o'clock last night at the ice cream place that's over here. Like right between where you see those cars on the other side of that building. So I spent the night here. I did my pre-trip. But I ain't stopped my clock. Because I was still waiting on my unit to get cold. So, hold on, I'm switching hands. So right now, the unit is at negative three. For them to, for them to load me, I need the temperature at negative ten. So, I got to keep doing this so I can bring that temperature down. Now, the guy told me that the force takes about 30 to 45 minutes, but in the meanwhile, keep doing this. So when it gets back to wanting to pre-cool, when they want to get back to pre-cooling, the unit will be, it'll cool a lot faster. So what you got to do is jackknife your truck. So, let me, let me let it sit, let me see. Alright, now it's coming down. Now, it got to negative four earlier today. And when it got to negative four, the unit went back up. The unit won't get no colder than that. Now that the sun is going down and it's getting a lot cooler out here, this unit should be able to cool down now and get cold to where I need it to be so I can get loaded. All these holes right, these holes right here, these holes right here is where the heat escapes for the engine while the engine is running inside because it gets real hot and that's where the, the, the heat is coming out from.
And this unit gets off a lot of heat. So that's why you gotta spray with a lot of water. This is like the back of your AC, like I said, it's like it has that just that uh material. I think it's a heat shield. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely make sure I'll do my homework on that. And when I do one of my other videos, I'll break that down. Now, see, the sun is beaming towards the back of me. So, I'm going to keep spraying this side. And just keep that unit and watch it. The day in the life of a reefer driver. I'm telling y'all. But you know what? I learn something every day and I love it. I love doing this. I get to get that ice cream money. I get to play with the water hose, the little kid. And I act like a fireman. <laughs> All at the same time. While I'm making grown man money. And yeah, I might not be driving, but night gonna make sure I get paid. But this is the things that you gotta do. Some days it's gonna be good, some days it's gonna be bad. And you know what? Even though I'm not driving and, and, and uh, moving, I get to bring y'all video and educate y'all. So when y'all come out here, y'all could be the best out here. I'm still waiting for it to get past uh, negative, negative four. Let's hit the other side real quick.